Pop Squat. Come on at you. We've got another song from Autumn. It's been a while since we've listened to some Autumn, and this was sent in by Hamish. Uh, Hamish sent in some money. You can do the same thing if you would like to go down below and see where you can send me money and send me song tracks to listen to. Um, this is called If It Means Anything. Uh, Autumn associated with Summers, Isaiah TG, Little Candy Paint, that whole crew. Um, man, it's been a while since I've listened to any Little Candy Paint or... Um, or who, what was the other name? I just totally... Sp- based out a uh, little candy paint and ah ah where's the name i just had it i was just looking at this isaiah tg it's been a long time since i've listened to this. any of either of them uh oh a uh, little let's see autumn used to also be known as twin uzis i forgot that uh let's check this out this is track number two on simp music part uh less than three i should say this came out in february of oh valentine's day of 2021 and uh produced by autumn the credits list this as r&b rap cloud rap synth pop indie pop uh indie rap indie indie electronic electronic hip-hop plug plug and b and underground hip-hop uh this is going to be kind of interesting sounding it's been a while since i've listened to any uh like one of the main people in the plug and b genre so I'm curious about this one. Track two on Simp Music. What, how many tracks are on Simp Music? Two! <laughs> so the first one was Can't Pretend, and the second one is If It Means Anything, which is what we're going to listen to. Let's check this out. Uh, two minutes and nine seconds. Thanks again to Hamish for sending this in. This is If It Means Anything from Autumn. these guys it just has to live out loud right uh, and, and i don't mean that in like a oh, i'm gonna just do everything crazy and be nuts like no he just he has to turn the stuff that he's going through in his personal life into music that he then broadcasts to the world like he he just that's just how he deals with his, his stuff right so it's a sad song because he's saying basically like telling us a story about he and somebody i assume a woman right and we're friends they used to just got along great everything was super awesome like just just a great relationship but then they got physical got into a relationship of some kind and one or both of them was not ready for that level of commitment and fucked it up 
or could or couldn't handle being in an adult relationship, which is probably what at least one of them wanted, right? And and maybe they both wanted that, but they just weren't ready for it. And and yeah, and you can be like twenties, thirties, forties, fifties, sixties, and never figure out what you need to do to be in an adult relationship. Everything is not fucking hunky dory all the time. Um, hunky dory, that's a good term. Um, nobody's happy all the time. You always have to deal with your own shit, your partner's shit, your kids' shit, your like all this stuff that comes up, and sometimes you just have to swallow it and go, all right. Just gonna work our way through this and uh, wait for it get, to get good again, and um, but you gotta still you gotta be able to trust your partner, right? That's the main thing. You gotta be able to trust the person that you're with. And it sounds like maybe he fucked up a little bit, and the other person can't really trust him. And um, he even says here, like, I knew what you want from the jump. I knew what you were about. You wouldn't fuck with me because I had clout. I can tell you knew what love was about. Like, she, she, I'm saying she, I assume she was in love with him, right? And he's, even now, he's saying, like, I still wish we could work it out, but I understand it. Like, fucked it. I fucked it up. It's so interesting to see these guys who do this, who, who, like, this is how, this is their therapy, right? This is how they get it out. And it's probably, it's probably pretty fucking maddening to the people that they're in relationships with or were in relationships with to have them just spew all this stuff like the reality of their relationship or that from his perspective the reality of it and to to talk about this stuff to everybody there's no privacy there's no and and in some ways i think that's fine like he's not he's not saying anything to the world that he wouldn't say to you because he's perfectly comfortable saying it to the world it's very cool stuff, and then this style of music has grown on me so much. The plug and B. I don't think this is a particularly plug and B E plug and B song. It just it just sounds good. It's a little bit different. It's got that kind of clicky, fast paced drum beat going on. The music sounds really nice and pleasant in the background. Uh, it doesn't have quite as many layers as I'm used to in a lot of the plug and B stuff. Uh, really, I like this track. I like it a lot, and I haven't listened to Ottoman way too long uh, be kind of fun if I got to listen to some more plug and B stuff from some of these guys so uh, thanks once again to Hamish pop squat <laughs> check it out please like subscribe and oh sorry I just hit the mic that was probably really loud uh, please like subscribe and share I'll be back bye bye